Hey guys, welcome to Brick Stars. Today we're gonna look at one of the most epic mocks we've made, the Medieval Bakery. This mock took us a couple months, a lot of bricklink, a lot of Lego bricks and pieces orders, and it was inspired, of course, by the Medieval Blacksmith. This set came out in 2021 and has recently retired. And as you can see by the box art, we made ours very similar. We wanted it to tie in to this village. So we have the green roof, similar design, similar architecture, and we're gonna get into it and look at the minifigures first. Starting off with the bunny on the left, and here we have our custom printed bakery sign that we designed and printed the sticker, a little kitten there, and then Mr. and Mrs. Baker, two of our favorite minifigures from the collectible minifigure series. We just love the dark green hunter hat, and we think their outfits look great for this mock. Next up, we have the Black Falcon Knight. Just like in the medieval blacksmith, which gave us a return of the Black Falcons, we thought, we thought it was very fitting to include one here, snacking on a delicious baked good. And then, of course, we have some helpers, villagers, that tend to the other animals like this kitten and sheep. Overall, a great looking squad. Here's a look at the overall building. We have the house, a little storage shed to the right, and then an area for some livestock. It's accompanied by a birch tree, a garden, and just plenty of room for the figures to hang out and enjoy the baked goods. We also have an accessory building. As you can see, this little stand that features Miss Baker and the knights waiting for the treat. Now let's get a look at some detail shots. Let's take a look at the build. So here we see the whole set featuring the main build, the side structures, and of course our little accessory bake stand. So the set features a main building with the bottom floor very reminiscent of the medieval blacksmith, stone, brick, this is where the actual bakery is. And of course the owners live upstairs. The architecture, very similar Tudor style white with the brown, brown wood pieces. And on the side we have a little storage shed complete with a little livestock area for their sheep. And we tried to make the style very similar to the medieval blacksmith along with including a birch tree to contrast the apple tree of that set and of course the roof is a similar build using those shield tiles in this case we went with a dark green to create a little bit of a contrast to the medieval blacksmith but we kept some of the building technique in terms of a mossy top and a couple discolored shingles so that's a look at the overall build we're gonna dive in to looking at the garden. Here's a look at the garden. We have a lot of different garden features. So in front, the idea was that it's more ornamental. So they have their flowers, a little planter box, a fruit tree. And here we have some different building techniques. I loved how this very simple design worked out with just this kind of horn piece and the leaf on it. And then a little pumpkin patch here with another fruit tree, a cherry tree there. And then getting into the garden, of course, there's a little rabbit there that's feasting on a carrot. But they have all sorts of stuff. So again, medieval ages, we figured they'd be growing a lot of their own, a lot of their own produce. And we really love how this tree turned out next to the storage shed there. Very the curves and the color of the leaves we think is a nice a nice look and just beside the livestock area we have the birch tree we really like how this turned out we like the curve of the tree how the leaves look very full and just the contrast in color to the rest of the tan and brown landscape below looking at the front of the building we wanted to have a distinct little feature here to show that it is a bakery with the pretzel we did also make a custom bakery sign so we printed this sticker with the pretzel and the dark green colors to match a nice ornamental piece there and the front of the building features white walls tudor style accents with the wood and we wanted to add some luxurious detail like this nice ornamental piece up here 
and the balcony so having a nice finished railing and a rounded balcony area here again this is their home on the second floor so they have some pride of home ownership pride of their business and as you can see we have the white and dark green carrying throughout so this little canopy here along with our custom printed bakery sign and the baking stand as well with the flags so we wanted to keep a consistent color theme throughout and we think the dark green and white really contrast each other nicely the side of the building has a distinct window here very large window with some nice golden features and here's an aerial view of the garden there what's neat is these side little buildings we did include a little door this was intended to be a storage shed and the roof just comes off like this so this is where they store some of their flour other products and there's they they're always struggling to keep the mice out and this was a very simple structure just to put a little roof over and above the livestock so in this case we have some sheep but of course it could be easily changed to have some goats instead now the moment you've all been waiting for a look at the interior so the roof just comes off like this and voila this is where the bedroom is we've included a little work table some rare artifacts so he's collected shields some uh, bags of different items we have a cabinet with a lock there and a little bookshelf here along with a bed we tried to mimic a rug like in the medieval blacksmith that had a bear rug we have a little rug in there and on this side there's a little table where they have a letter some more artifacts in there and just a nice space to fit your minifigures at the back of the bedroom we see a fireplace to keep them warm next to a liquor cabinet that features some uh, whiskey or something and a nice staircase there again with the lantern there to give them some light and on this side of the wall you can see we have the forestman crest perhaps mr baker was a forestman in a previous life we like to add some little details like that and the roof comes on very simply just like this it sits on there and that's the upstairs here's the main living quarters which is the second floor of the building so it features another fireplace but in this case it's used for cooking there's a little bookshelf with other collectibles or items that the family has on this side we see a little clock and another mantelpiece and there's our staircase which features a keg underneath of course they like to enjoy their wine and here we have a dining table on this side we can see the dining table they've got some cheese there some beer a little sword and another table there we like the use of those reddish brown skeleton legs they kind of add a, a little bit of a detail torches throughout and that's the main floor and here is the actual bakery itself so in this corner they have their kind of pizza pizza oven type paddles there's some other cooking ingredients here we built a little scale a rolling pin a frying pan some eggs butter all the essentials for making baked goods here in the table in the middle we did also make this kind of baking goods storage shelf so as they take out the breads to have them cool a bit before serving them and one cool feature we made when you touch the top of the fireplace there's a light up brick in there because of course every bakery needs a large stone oven especially in those medieval ages so we wanted to make sure that the oven could light up and cook the bread so that's a look at the interior of the bakery and really captures all the details of the inside and kind of completes the look of our mock we hope you guys enjoyed this detailed look of this mock and the build itself we put a lot of time into building this 
There's a couple changes we'd like to make, so stay tuned to see those. And we do have a couple other mocks that we're going to be diving into over the next couple weeks. So make sure to check back for those. Thanks for watching and see you next time.